Good morning. Today we are in Philippians 2, 19 through 24. And you know, with it being fall, my family and I, we currently love to eat all the foods that are associated with this season, including candy. Yes, I believe candy is still food. Um, but other than that, you see pumpkin flavored stuff everywhere. And recently we ate at this new restaurant and they had some delicious pumpkin bread and that pumpkin bread was made from scratch and it was so good. And we sat at the table and we're eating it and we're just talking about how good it was. And we happened to get a chance to speak to the owner and we asked about the recipe and it turns out it was included in a cookbook that they had released. So my wife, Mandy, purchased the book and we took it home and tried replicating it. And uh, you see, in order to get the result that we wanted, in order to replicate it, we needed to know what it took. We need to know what makes good pumpkin bread. And so Mandy used the recipe, followed that recipe, it came out so good, just like we had tasted at the restaurant. So with all that said, here in Philippians 2, Paul is encouraging the church there in their walk with Christ. And the end result that he had desired for them was one of faithful, humble obedience to the gospel. So in order to get that result, he gave the recipe for humility in a person. And that person was Timothy. You see, Paul had just encouraged them in their obedience to Christ. He even offered himself as an example for them to follow, not in a prideful way, but in a humble and loving way. Now, with Timothy here, Paul knew that his example would be so beneficial for the church to consider and for us as well. So he commended Timothy to them in a few different ways. First, he and Paul, Timothy and Paul, were like-minded or of kindred spirit. Now, this phrase literally means equal souled or like a soul partner. They had the same mindset. Advancing the gospel really mattered to both of them, and it should matter to us as we, too, partner with others in sharing our faith. Timothy also had a genuine, sincere concern for the Philippian church. Uh, this genuineness should be true of all believers as we care for one another as Christ has cared for us. Our humble obedience to Christ requires that we look out for the interests of others, have a care and concern for them, even above ourselves. That type of humility is pleasing to God, it is beneficial to others, and it is a hallmark of the Christ follower. And lastly, we see that Timothy had a proven worth to Paul and his mission to share the good news. This phrase refers to the proven character of Timothy because Paul had known him and served with him. He knew what made him and he was the real deal. Consistency through and through is vital for believers. There's no room for hypocrisy. Timothy's worth to the gospel mission had been made evident in his faithful service. He had proven himself. So now, in verses 20 and 21, we see that Paul contrasts the example of Timothy, which he's holding up, by saying that there's some others who seem to look after their own interests not those of Christ. That's the opposite of what Timothy was doing. You see, the humble servant leadership of Timothy was not true of everyone in their day. And that still rings true in our ears in 2022 uh, as well. So here's the challenge for all of us this morning. Think about this. Would someone, would someone else offer your life as a recipe to follow in order to get the result of a humble, obedient Christ follower? Is your life, is my life, worth imitating? Are we living a life of humility, submitting to Christ, um, instead of living a life of pride, living for our own self-interest? It's definitely a challenging thought to me, and I know I have a lot of work to do in that area. Uh, I pray that you and I can be of kindred spirit with those who faithfully serve our Father, uh, showing genuine concern for the church and for all people um, and do so with proven character and integrity, having that consistency through and through of a Christ follower. Thanks for listening and watching this morning. We'll see you next time.